Alex is here, and it's not just another humanoid robot. This creation from Diri Robotics is being described as one of the most precise robots ever built, with hands so dexterous and controlled that experts are comparing them to, and in some cases even surpassing, the steady hands of a trained surgeon. That's not hype. That's what the specs and early demonstrations are showing, and it could change the way robots fit into our lives forever. Welcome back, guys. Alfie here, bringing you another mind-blowing update. Alex by WI Robotics. This robot's hands are more precise than a surgeon. Yes, you heard that right. So, let's break this down. What makes Alex so special? Why are its hands such a breakthrough? And where could this technology take us in the near future? Let's go. First, let's start with the hands themselves, because that's the real headline here. Alex has 15 degrees of freedom in each hand. If you're not familiar with the term deaf, degrees of freedom basically refers to how many independent movements a mechanism can perform. A typical human hand has around 27 degrees of freedom, depending on how you count the tiny joint movements. So when a robot comes this close at 15 DUF, that's already edging into territory where the motions are no longer clunky or mechanical. They start to feel fluid, natural, and human-like. But here's the kicker. Where robotics didn't stop at just matching range of motion, they designed Alex's hands with ultra-sensitive sensors built directly into the fingertips and joints. That means when the robot grips an object, it's not just closing its fingers mechanically. It's actually feeling the pressure, adjusting in real time, and fine-tuning its grip the way a person would when holding a fragile egg or threading a needle. This ability, called tactile sensing, is one of the hardest things to replicate in robotics. And Alex seems to have nailed it. Now, think about the implications here. When you have a robot with hands that precise, suddenly tasks that were previously too delicate for machines are on the table. Surgery is an obvious one, but it's not just about operating rooms. Imagine lab technicians who need to handle microscopic tools, or factory workers assembling tiny electronics, or even something as mundane as folding laundry without crushing fabric or losing grip on slippery materials. Alex is being positioned as a multi-purpose humanoid, and its hands are the cornerstone of that versatility. Another big part of what makes this robot impressive is the combination of strength and sensitivity. Robotics has built the hands so that they can deliver superhuman grip force when required, but also release into feather light precision when needed. That's a balance you don't see often. Robots either tend to be too rigid and strong, great for heavy lifting but terrible for delicate work, or they're soft and gentle but too weak to be useful in tougher environments. Alex appears to bridge that gap. Now, let's shift focus to the overall design. Alex isn't just a pair of hands floating in the air, it's a full humanoid robot, and W Robotics has made sure to keep the design lightweight. Weight matters a lot more than people realize. If a robot is too heavy, it becomes unstable, slow, and inefficient in real-world environments. But if it's too light, it risks being flimsy and unable to handle serious tasks. The engineers here seem to have found a middle ground, making Alex robust enough to perform demanding roles while keeping the body slim and efficient enough to move quickly and gracefully. And that brings us to an important question. Where exactly does a robot like this fit in? The immediate answer is industries that need both strength and surgical level precision. Let's start with healthcare, because that's one area where this robot could be revolutionary. Surgical robots already exist. Systems like the Da Vinci Surgical Platform have been around for years, but they're not humanoid. They're stationary, tool-specific machines that require human surgeons to operate them remotely. Alex, by contrast, is fully humanoid. Imagine having a robotic assistant in an operating room that can hold tools, pass equipment, or even perform certain procedures under human supervision with precision steady enough to rival the best surgeons in the world. That's not just a futuristic fantasy anymore. It's a logical next step. Then there's manufacturing. In high-tech industries like assembling microchips, smartphones, or medical devices, precision is everything. One misaligned component can ruin an entire product. Human workers currently dominate this space because robots haven't been able to replicate the fine motor control necessary for assembly at such small scales. But Alex changes that equation. With tactile sensing, steady movements, and precise control, 
it could become the backbone of ultra-fine manufacturing lines, working tirelessly without fatigue. Service industries are another fascinating possibility. Think about a restaurant where a humanoid robot prepares your food with the same precision as a Michelin-starred chef. It doesn't burn the meat, it doesn't oversalt the dish, and it has the dexterity to plate meals beautifully. Or think about personal assistance in homes, helping elderly people with daily tasks like dressing, feeding, or handling fragile objects. These are things robots have struggled with because they require sensitivity and awareness. But Alex's hands could make them not only possible, but reliable. And of course, we can't ignore everyday life. Imagine owning a robot that can actually fold your laundry without turning it into a wrinkled mess, or help you fix small appliances, or even handle your child's toys safely. It's the kind of vision of robotics we've seen in movies for decades, but Alex's capabilities make it feel much closer to reality. But here's where things get really interesting. Alex isn't just about dexterity. We Robotics has been developing advanced AI integration to pair with this hardware. The robot isn't simply following pre-programmed scripts. It's learning, adapting, and refining its movements through machine learning. That means every task it performs makes it smarter, more efficient, and more capable over time. So the more Alex is used in different environments, the better it will become at understanding context, predicting human needs, and executing tasks without constant human input. That opens the door to something bigger. Humanoid robots that aren't just useful, but almost indispensable. If Alex or robots like it can seamlessly blend precision, strength, and intelligence, they could become the first generation of machines that truly integrate into human spaces without feeling like awkward add-ons. They'd be teammates, assistants, and maybe even companions. Of course, with all this hype, it's worth asking the hard questions too. Can WI Robotics scale this technology? Building one prototype that impresses at an expo is one thing, but mass-producing humanoids with this level of sophistication is another challenge entirely. Cost will be a major factor. Ultra-sensitive sensors and precision engineering aren't cheap, and if Alex is priced out of reach for most industries, it risks becoming more of a demo piece than a transformative product. There's also the issue of safety. A robot with superhuman grip strength and surgeon-level precision sounds amazing in theory, but it also raises questions about control. What safeguards are in place to ensure it doesn't accidentally apply too much force when interacting with people? How do you build trust between humans and a machine that can quite literally crush objects with its hands? Where robotics will need to prove that Alex isn't just advanced, but also reliable, predictable, and safe in the environments it's designed for. Another factor is competition. Where robotics is not alone in this race. Companies like Tesla with Optimus, Figure AI with Figure 2, Unitree with H1, and Agility Robotics with Digit are all pushing humanoid robotics forward in different directions. What sets Alex apart is its focus on the hands. But in the broader humanoid race, integration matters too. If competitors can match or surpass this precision while also offering better mobility, scalability, or price, then Alex will have to keep innovating to stay ahead. That being said, Alex represents something incredibly important in the evolution of humanoid robotics. A real leap in functional dexterity. For years, the big challenge with humanoid robots hasn't been walking or balancing. We've largely solved those problems. The real challenge has been manipulation. Giving robots the ability to use their hands like humans do has been the holy grail, because hands are what allow us to interact with the world in versatile ways. If Alex has truly cracked this problem, then it's not just a new robot on the market. It's a milestone. Looking ahead, it's not hard to imagine Alex working side by side with humans in a variety of settings. Picture a hospital where a team of doctors and nurses are assisted by a humanoid robot that can hold surgical instruments, make tiny incisions, and never waver under pressure. Or a disaster zone where Alex can carefully remove debris to rescue trapped survivors, using its precise grip to handle fragile structures without causing collapse. Or even space exploration, where delicate robotic hands could perform maintenance on spacecraft or build habitats without risking human astronauts. The possibilities are endless, and that's why the robotics world is paying such close attention to this launch. So where do we go from here? The most important next step will be real-world testing. Demos are impressive, 
But true breakthroughs happen when technology meets practical application. AI Robotics will need to prove that Alex can deliver consistent performance outside of controlled lab settings, in hospitals, factories, restaurants, and homes. If it can, then we may be looking at the beginning of a new era, one where humanoid robots finally take on roles we've been dreaming about for decades. The world has just witnessed something historic. But this wasn't a lab demo, a startup teaser video, or a sci-fi movie. It was real. Over 500 humanoid robots from 280 teams across 16 different nations competed in events ranging from athletic contests like sprinting and soccer to practical tasks like medicine sorting and cleaning. The result? A mix of jaw-dropping displays of agility and intelligence, plenty of awkward tumbles, and moments that were as entertaining as they were revealing. For the first time, the public got a front row seat to where humanoid robotics really stands. And the picture was both inspiring and humbling. 100 meter sprint was a highlight, where rows of humanoid robots lined up on the track and tried to bolt forward. Some actually ran, arms swinging, legs pumping, almost human-like in their stride. Others barely made it a few steps before wobbling and collapsing face first onto the track. The crowd couldn't help but laugh and cheer. It was equal parts progress and comedy. All right, enjoying the video so far? Let's make it even better. Join our membership to get early access to AI news, secret videos, shout outs, priority replies from the AI Nexus team in the comments, and a special member badge when you comment. Click join and level up today, or click the link in the description. Then came the soccer matches, and if you've ever seen toddlers chase a event looked surreal. Humanoid robots swinging their arms, trying to balance and connect punches. Nobody was getting knocked out here, but the spectacle of two machines sparring was something out of a futuristic sports league. In one test, robots had to sort medicines, identifying pill bottles and placing them correctly. This is exactly the kind of real-world application we imagine for robots in hospitals. Some did impressively well, carefully gripping and placing items. Others misread labels or dropped bottles entirely. It was a sobering reminder that precision in messy, real-world conditions is still a massive challenge. Another event tested cleaning tasks. Robots had to sweep, wipe, or handle tools to tidy up surfaces. Unlike a Roomba, these machines needed to use arms, maintain balance, and react to uneven surfaces. A handful of robots managed a convincing cleanup, while many struggled. Slow, jerky, and in some cases, completely stuck. There were also object manipulation tests like stacking boxes or folding clothes designed to measure dexterity. A few robots actually folded fabric, slowly but successfully. Others dropped items repeatedly or got tangled up. For engineers watching, these struggles were just as valuable as the successes. They highlighted exactly where robots need to improve. All right, enjoying the video so far? Let's make it even better. Join our membership to get early access to AI news, secret videos, shout outs, priority replies from the AI Nexus team in the comments, and a special member badge when you comment. Click join and level up today, or click the link in the description. So how did they perform overall? The truth is, progress was real, but the limitations were obvious. There were standout robots that impressed with agility and autonomy, showing fluid motion and surprisingly effective task handling. Watching a humanoid run a decent sprint or stack items with clear precision felt like a glimpse of the near future. But there were also constant reminders of the challenges ahead. Many robots fell, froze, or required engineers to reset them. Even when tasks were completed, they were often slow, folding a shirt in minutes rather than seconds, or walking stiffly instead of smoothly. And then there were the moments of chaos, the pileups in sprint races, robots kicking each other instead of the soccer ball, or awkward dance moves that had the crowd laughing. These imperfections weren't failures, they were reality. They showed just how difficult it is to create machines that can truly operate like humans. That's what made this event so important. Unlike the polished demo videos companies love to release, the humanoid Olympics put robots in an uncontrolled environment with pressure, unpredictability, and global attention. It stripped away the editing and showed robotics as it really is, an exciting, messy work in progress. And it wasn't just about showing the public. For the engineers, 
Every stumble and every success was valuable data. Why did one robot balance better than another? Why did one succeed at sorting medicine while another failed? These answers will feed directly into the next generation of humanoid AI systems. Another major theme here was how global the race for humanoid robotics has become. With 16 nations involved, it wasn't dominated by a single country. Each team brought unique approaches. Some leaned heavily on advanced AI models like vision language action systems, letting their robots interpret tasks in natural language. Others focused more on mechanical engineering, building ultra-stable robots that moved steadily but lacked intelligence. Seeing these approaches side by side highlighted how open-ended this field still is. There's no single blueprint for the right humanoid robot yet. Instead, diversity of ideas is driving innovation forward. Of course, part of what made the game so captivating was the public spectacle. The organizers knew exactly just as human athletes push each other to run faster or jump higher, these robot competitions push developers to design better balance, smarter perception, and safer movement. Speaking of safety, that was a quiet but critical theme. Watching hundreds of humanoid robots moving around made one thing clear. If they're going to operate in human environments, safety features are essential. Some robots had fall recovery systems, letting them get back up after a crash. Others had collision detection, avoiding nearby robots or humans. These capabilities are just as important as running fast or stacking boxes. They'll determine whether robots can coexist safely with us in the real world. All right, enjoying the video so far? Let's make it even better. Join our membership to get early access to AI news, secret videos, shout outs, priority replies from the AI Nexus team in the comments, and a special member badge when you comment. Click join and level up today, or click the link in the description. So what does all this mean for the future? The Humanoid Olympics was both a reality check and a preview. It showed us that robots are capable of remarkable feats, running, dancing, cleaning, sorting. Imagine what they'll be doing 10 years from now. This event marked the beginning of a new era, humanoid sports. Just as the original Olympics pushed human athletes to new limits, the humanoid Olympics will push robotic development forward. Each stumble will lead to better balance systems. Each slow task will drive more efficient AI. Each clumsy soccer match will inspire better coordination. And in the process, we'll inch closer to robots that can operate safely and effectively in our homes, workplaces, and cities. To wrap this up, the 2020 25 World Humanoid Robot Games in Beijing brought together over 500 humanoid robots in the world's first humanoid Olympics. They sprinted, boxed, danced, cleaned, sorted medicine, and most importantly, showed us exactly where robotics stands today. It wasn't flawless. Robots fell, slowed down, and sometimes needed rescuing. But it was breathtaking to watch, and historic. This wasn't a demo, it wasn't a promise, it was reality. A true testing ground for humanoid autonomy. The Humanoid Olympics wasn't just about who won or lost, it was about proving that humanoid robots are ready to step out of labs and into the public eye. And while they're still learning to walk, run, and dance without tripping, the future they're running toward looks unstoppable.